Yo, what's going on guys? Mr. Brood here. Today we're back with the Blackrock Dungeon again with General Dracoseth. I've reshuffled my army slots so that I'm not overleveled. So these are disabled on purpose. Um, I've got the no talent video with Ren. So if you're looking for a no talent team, you can just look at the, uh, you can just use my Ren team. You don't have to play General Drac if you don't have the right talent or the levels. The link is in the description. Now, this team is full of talents, so I'll just quickly go through the talent. Um, the chromatic scale is usually the number one talent recommendation for this leader. We will be using this leader as the win condition in stage two. And stage three, it's just free for all. And uh, you've got the dark iron miner for stage three specifically, so that you can mine the gold very quickly. Safe pilot, I'm using the coming hot, but if you want to use the other talent, that's also okay. Um, General Drac is just so slow, a lot of the times I need some speed to kill the, the troops as well as grab chests um, in, uh, in, in some situations. Flame Burst for the eggs as usual. The elemental damage units are our main damage, so ideally you want the General Drac to walk towards your targets, but in certain situations you can just cycle your unbound units as per usual. Tunnel Vision to get our chest quickly and our Shaman will have the Earth Shield which gives General Drac armor, so that he's got armor and elemental resistant. Uh, Blizzard with the Cold Snap, again it's elemental damage, so all these things can be done immediately for quick damage on the boss. We are going to jump into some dungeons now. It's currently red difficulty because I've adjusted the army slot so that I'm roughly one to two levels below the dungeon level. Uh, I think I'm gonna decline the ground shield. Okay, I'm just gonna give. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do divine patch. Uh, I don't know why, but I think the shaman will at least be the only one to benefit from it. So we'll see about that. So to save you guys the trouble, I've already tested this on lower levels, and for the first level, you can't play general drag because he's too damn slow, and even if he gets a shield, by the time he makes it to the boss, it's going to be dead. And pretty much, you get bounced off the wall, and yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a negative 5 right there. You don't even get any damage on him. So instead, what we're going to do is rely on our Unbound units and our Blizzard. So where are my Unbound units again? Uh, okay, you know what? Get a, get a blizzard going. And save pilot this. And will pegs that. Oh my goodness. Got bounced so hard. Yeah, so unfortunately that's the lame strategy for our first stage. Just because General Drac is too slow. We can't make it across. Uh, okay, gotta kill this thing first. Let's see what we can do. Oh, goodness. He sniped our chest. So that's fine. We're just gonna... We're just gonna keep cycling some of our troops. Well pegs for the win. Look at that. Just doing well pegs. Uh, we should be fine here. Okay, make sure we get our waypoints back. Uh... We can use General Drac on defense. If we can get value out of him on defense like this, we can certainly use him. Uh, but don't expect him to get on the boss. You know, he's just, he's not making it over there. What was that safe pilot by the AI? Uh, yep. All we need is some chests and gold. I'm uh, gonna do this to kill that mob. Oh no! Bloody safe pilot got the shield. Okay. Uh, we're not doing too bad, I suppose. So I'll blizzard wherever I can to get some value. I'll probably need a well peg on defense, to be honest. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna do this 
to make sure the save pallet doesn't get the chest or the shield. Okay, we missed the shield anyway, but that's fine. Oh no, I was a bit late on the pull ball. I didn't actually see the snipers already locked on. Okay, I need to do this, yeah, because his safe pallet's incoming. Uh, not really making any positive trades here. Oh my god, what is that? Safe pallet. That's a lot of safe pallets. Uh, this is not looking too good, but I think in overtime is where we can cycle more aggressively. I don't really want to cycle too aggressively because I wouldn't have enough to defend. Uh, yeah, I'll just do this. Okay, not too much damage. I'm gonna just use my ball ball to protect. Save pilot to kill this. Okay, overtime. Uh, yeah, okay, just to be on the safe side. Alright, here we go. Cycle. We're gonna do some cycling like this. Okay, that was bad, but I think we're okay. I hope we're okay. Time to go in with our deadly combo of safe pallet and will pegs. Followed by blizzard. I think we should have this. Yep, we got this. It's an ugly wing, but that's what you gotta do sometimes. It's not always feasible to play your leader in every single dungeon. We'll take what we are given with, I guess. Alright, the next stage is where we can play our leader. Mm. Yep, this is the perfect skill. Perfect relic for our build. Okay, here we go guys. Uh, this stage is always going to be challenging. So let's see how we're going to do this. Just going to get my world pegs some value. Um, yeah, I don't really have any better play to be honest. I'm gonna get my general drag down, safe pallet, make sure everything dies. Uh, make sure that spear troll dies, and the harvest golem is gonna respawn, so yeah, might as well our general drag be in the vicinity of that. We did have to use our core so I don't have core for tanking. Uh, I'm gonna get my wealth down like this. They pop straight away because of the poison on the terrain. Oh, that actually worked out to our favor. Um, it's locked onto the general drag, but our whelps are getting some serious damage. That's great. I'm going to try to steal the chest. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that went out okay. So I'm going to blizzard to get some value. There's a lot of value right there. So we'll take that. Drag is on... I hope it's near the boss. So I'm going to actually wall peg this. Uh, yep, so it might do some damage, I hope, but it's okay, we kind of did what we set out to do, which is take the tower. Um, anytime you take the tower in the first push, that's really great. I'm going to cycle my drag like this, and I'm going to get my shaman as well, immediately. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get my drag to tank, actually. So that, or maybe my core ball can tank if it goes up there first, yep. Get my elemental stuff down, I know my drag is not in the vicinity yet, but I've got gold to spare and I just need chip damage. Uh, do I need defense? No I don't need to defense. How nice of them, they haven't pushed me in the opposite lane for the first time. Okay the sniper should get killed by the rocket tower which is great, that's our biggest problem. I think we'll just play this steady and get another Drag Shaman push happening. Uh, okay. Uh, I think we're fine. Once I get enough gold, I should be able to uh, go in for a Safe Pallet, World Peg, and Blizzard combo. Ideally, with my Drac General Dracosad in the vicinity. But he's always going to have stuff to block, so I'm just going to do this. And I'm 
gonna just cycle my blizzard because I think we're ahead in gold. And this might be it. Oh, let's go. All right, that's the far, that's the hardest stage out of the way. Hopefully, the next stage is gonna be easier. Uh, cycle mini calls the next nominee. Okay, I think that's fine. Yeah, it's gonna give us quite a bit of value because we're playing Quillbore. We're gonna be playing the Quillbore in the Dark Iron Miner a lot. We're gonna need the General Dracosath to take out some of the tanky units like Morton Giant and stuff on this map. Oh, speak of the devil right there. Alright, I'll get a Dracosath up. I don't need to stack the Shaman, I think, on this map. Uh, okay, thank god for our miners. They're a bit too slow. Nobody's taking that one, so I'll take that. Oh, I think that computer got it. Oh no, we got it. Don't know how, but I'll take it. Uh, I'll just play whatever to get my light bulbs. Another light bulb. I'll try not to play our heavy units like General Dracosath unless there's multiple light bulbs. That's the most value way to do it. Um, so I'll start one at the back. Uh, I'll just blizzard this to be honest. I don't really know what else to deal with. Oh man, that was not the best trade. But I think we're fine. I'm gonna get back to another blizzard and I'm gonna use that to... I was gonna say use that to kill both light bulbs, but yeah. That didn't work out, so we'll have to do this. Uh, save pilot. Yeah, as brainless as, brainless as usual, just keep doing stuff to get uh, to get the light bulbs, try to make optimal trades wherever possible. The Dark Iron Miner should automatically win us this level because of the extra gold or the speed that they can get the gold. So uh, yeah, we haven't really taken any damage yet. That's great. That's the first bomb we took. Safe Pilot and Blizzard can both take multiple light bulbs at the same time. And... Okay, like this. And it can also freeze opposition troops, which is really good. That pretty much seals the deal for us. Let's just see if I can sneak that in. Uh, shouldn't have used the Dark Iron Miner, but anyway, thank god we got the bulb. Um, how many more do we need? I think that's the last one we need. Yep. Oh, that should be it. And there it is. And that's the full gold set we've got. Thank you guys for watching and I'll be back with the next one soon. Bye!